Welcome to West Mountain Store Fixtures. Today we're going to talk a little bit about how to install a gable onto your display shelving. There are a few different methods. We'll start with the most common. This piece is what we describe as a gable. It's also known as a finish panel or an end panel. The idea of this is to go on the end of your fixture to prevent your product from falling off the shelves. In addition to your gable, you will also have received some hardware. There are various types of hardware for your gable installation. We'll look at a few different kinds. You may or may not have received this lower bottom track. This fits on the bottom of your gable and ensures that it cannot slip off the base deck. You may have also received gable anchors or gable clips. They come in two different sizes, long and short. You may have received hooks such as this. These are also installed on the bottom of the gable. And finally, you may, have you may have received this type of a gable clip, which is used for an external gable mount. In addition to these pieces of hardware, you will also have received some screws. Number five Robertsons, or perhaps wafer screws. In any case, the installation is the same regardless of the hardware used. In order to complete this task, you will need a cordless drill, a Phillips bit, a Robertson bit, or the appropriate screwdrivers. We'll begin by installing an external gable. This is the most common type of gable that we supply. External gable fits to the outside or extremity of the gondola or your wall fixture. In order to mount the external gables, we'll be using external gable mounting brackets as well as the aforementioned wafer screws. For this, you'll need your Phillips driver. The gable clip simply drops into the slots. Just as, a, just as a shelf would. And then you bring the gable tight to the upright on the fixture. And using your wafer screws, attach through the pre drilled holes in the bracket. There are three holes provided. And for secure fit, we recommend you use three screws per bracket. To affix the lower section of the gable, again, we will use the external gable mounting bracket. Again, with three wafer screws. Here's a close up look of our external gable mounting brackets. As you can see, it drops right into the slots on the upright and it's fastened through the pre-drilled holes using wafer screws. There you have it, one installed gable. In the first part of our video, we learned how to install an external gable to your wall shelving or to your floor gondola. Now we'll have a look at how to install an external gable. This gable is very similar to the external gable, except that it is mounted interior to the fixture. The base of this gable will sit on the shoe of the fixture, as such. Now, in order to mount this gable, we're going to be using a lower gable track. This is pre-drilled for wafer screws. As you can see, it has a flange on one side only. This flange goes toward the interior of your fixture. First thing we do, press fit the track onto the bottom of the gable. Now, using our screwdriver to pull this drill and the supplied wafer screws, we will fasten this track right to the bottom of the gable. As you can see, 
This flange is on one side of the track only, and this flange will go between the base deck and the shoe trim on your fixture. Close up view of the lower track and its situation on the fixture. As you can see, it slips between the base deck and the shoe trim in this gap. To further secure the gable, we use the gable mounting clips supplied with your kit. These gable hooks are installed as such. Normally, we would like to see two gable clips per gable. For your second gable clip, we'll apply it near the bottom of the gable. This can be done in two different ways. If you'd like to be able to remove your gables, like so, then the lower clip is mounted exactly the same as the top clip, with the hook facing down toward the floor. If you'd like to mount the gable so that it cannot be lifted off the fixture easily, then the lower gable anchor is turned upside down with the slot facing up toward the ceiling. We secure it in the slot on the upright, and fastened with wafer screws, like so. That gives us a secure gable that cannot be lifted easily off the fixture. There is one variation to the lower gable trap, that is individual spangler hooks. If the gables that you have are thicker than three quarters of an inch, then rather than using this track, you will employ these spangler hooks at the bottom of the gable. They work in an identical fashion to the lower gable track and they are held in place with the same type of wafer screws. We will install one nearer to the front of the gable. And we'll get one closer to the back of the gable as well. Now, when we install this gable on the fixture, we will use the prongs on the spangler hips, on the spangler clips, in the same fashion as we did the flange on the lower gable track. These hooks go in between the base deck of your fixture and the shoe trim, as such. We are using the same method to anchor the top of the gable. We can apply another clip at the bottom, either right side up or upside down, depending on your preference. Thanks for joining us.